Hello and welcome to this podcast. I am Becky and I can be found as Becky Burns Gibson on Pinterest, Instagram, and Ravelry. So today we're going to be uh, doing part four of the sew along for the McCall 6696 shirt dress. We're going to be attaching the sleeves and the band. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put gathering stitches all the way around the top of the sleeve from one circle to the other. And we're going to do this um, within the seam allowance. So we're going to do it at one fourth of an inch and three eighths of an inch. That way it will be within the five eighths of an inch seam allowance and hopefully uh, these um, stitches will not show up after we uh, sew our garment together. So um, I'm going to set my stitch length to four because I want uh, a long stitch for gathering. And I'm going to need tails. Thread tails. So I'm going to um, pull out some thread because I'm going to need those thread tails to pull the gathers. Okay, starting out at one fourth of an inch seam allowance. Don't cut your stitches at the end with your machine. Instead, raise your needle, raise your presser foot, and pull you out some tails. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing only at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So we're going to do this on both pieces and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to sew together, right sides together, the um, the underarm seam. And we're going to do this at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. We're going to set our uh, stitch length back to the default length, which for me is 2.5. We're going to back stitch at the beginning and the end. And we're going to take this to the um, serger and finish this off together. And then we're going to cut these threads off. A lot of people um, weave these in uh, with a needle. Uh, I don't do that. I just go ahead and uh, snip mine off and I never had any come apart. Okay, 
Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to bind the armhole with bias binding. Uh, I buy rights at Walmart or at Joann's. It's bias tape, extra wide, double fold. That's important because this comes in different widths and uh, sometimes single fold, sometimes double fold. So it's important that you buy extra wide, double fold. And we are going to need my free arm. So we are going to attach the right side of the bias binding to the right side of the fabric. And we're going to line up the edges and then we're going to sew along this crease line. get to the to the uh, where you began give yourself some fabric so that you can tuck one into the other when you fold it down it makes a nice um, finishing I'm gonna go ahead and cut going to fold this over, making sure that it goes down over the seam all the way around. that then we're going to fold it one more time over I'm going to turn it inside out so I can sew it
and I'm going to set my needle position over to the far left so that I sew along the edge of the binding. Now you see you have a nice finish on the edge of your sleeve. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is lie our bodice out, inside out, with the front pieces on the top. Then you're going to take one of your sleeves and you're gonna take a look at it and where the notch is a single notch, that means it goes in the front. And where the notch is a double notch, that means it goes in the back. And you can see when you match up your notches on your sleeve line that there will be a, either a single or a double notch, a single notch in the front and a double notch in the back. So I'm going to put in my sleeve that way. I'm going to raise up the uh, front and put my sleeve in. And the sleeve needs to be right side out. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the circle at the top of the sleeve that denotes the, uh, the uh, top of the shoulder and I'm going to pin that into the top of the shoulder, the shoulder seam. And I'm gonna pin it along the top, not along the inside, because um, we have to be able to see this, the pins when we sew it. Okay, now I'm going to pin the bottom seam. And I'm going to nest the seam allowances opposite one another. Then I'm going to line up my notches. pin those together. Then I'm going to find my dots and I'm going to pin those together. There is no dot here. There's one here on the sleeve, but there's not one on the bodice. So they intend for you to line it up with the uh, bottom of the yoke. Okay, I've got to move that over a little bit. Okay, everything fits well all the way around. And now I'm going to use my bobbin threads 
on my gathering stitches to distribute the gathers. nicely and evenly along the sleeve head. And use a lot of pins to hold it in place. Place a few extra pins. Okay, now we're ready to take this to the sewing machine. And using our free arm, stitch all the way around. And then once we do that, we're going to take it to the serger and we're going to serge, finish the edge together. A lot of people are intimidated by setting in a sleeve, but as you see, it's just following the instructions one step at a time. Five eighths inch seam allowance. And the way I do it is I work between my pins. So I make sure that the uh, fabric is smooth, that there's nothing caught underneath. In between each pin. Then when I get done with that pin, I worry about the next, the next pin. kind of easy to get your fabric caught underneath when you're sewing a sleeve. So it's always good to sew between your pins. sure there's nothing hung up underneath.
Yeah, you can't just rush through this. Take some finessing of the fabric. And now we're going to check and make sure that we didn't get any unwanted tucks or puckers in our seam. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. Um, if your basting stitches show up here, now would be the time to remove them. Basting stitches are really easy to remove, but I don't have any showing up. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this over to the serger. Using my free arm. Checking underneath to make sure there's no fabric getting caught up. clean finish. Okay, next we're going to attach the band. So we're going to lie our bodice right side up and then we're going to take the interfaced band and we're going to attach it right sides together to the bodice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our center back on the bodice and our center back on the band. And we're going to pin that. Next, we're going to line up our 
circles and we're going to do that by pulling the bobbin threads on our gathering stitches. try to make them pretty okay so here I have them matched up I think I'm going to sew from underneath this time because of the gathers. I think it will be easier for me. some pretty gathers. Line up my dots. Okay, now I'm going to pin it all the way across the back and then head to the sewing machine. couple things to make sure when you're pinning down your band to your bodice. Make sure that the uh, seams are pinned down the right way. Here and here. And make sure that your darts are pinned down the right way facing toward the center. Five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now I'm here at my gathers and I'm going to make sure that when I sew them down, I'm sewing them down pretty.
Okay, check for any unwanted tucks or puckers. And we're looking pretty good. My gathers are nice and pretty. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the um, uninterfaced band and we're going to turn in the single notched side by five eighths of an inch. And we're gonna be most successful doing this with the gauge. So I have a, a really cool measuring gauge here with a lot of different uh, measurements on it. And here's my five eighths of an inch. And we're going to do this all the way down the single notch side of the band. So next we're going to place the uninterfaced band right side of the band against the wrong side of the bodice. And we're going to line up our center back. And then we're going to pin all the way across. And then we're gonna meet at the sewing machine. Five eighths inch seam allowance. So now we are going to take this to the ironing board and iron both pieces of the band down. Well, thank you for joining me for part four of the McCall 6696 shirt dress solomon where we attached the sleeves and the band. Next time we'll be assembling and attaching the skirt. If you like what you've seen, click the like button. And if you want to see more, click subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.